During the 2008 crisis, the main problem was the mortgage-backed securities, which were filled with risky and worthless loans. But bigger than mortgage-backed securities were the CDOs, which were the nuclear bomb that brought down the whole world economy. A CDO is a collateralized debt obligation. It was similar to the mortgage-backed securities product, but much worse. In the movie, you can see Mark Baum getting very angry after meeting with the CDO manager, Wing Chao. This is because these CDOs were designed in such a way that they were bound to fail. So, before we understand how a CDO is created, you need to know how mortgage-backed securities are created. In one of our previous videos, we explained it in detail. You should watch that video first. But here is a small clip from that video. Let's say 10 people have taken a loan from ABC Bank to buy a house, and they owe money to ABC Bank. Now, what ABC Bank does is sell these loans to an investment bank. Now people owe the money to the investment bank. The investment bank combines these loans and creates new products known as mortgage-backed securities. In mortgage-backed securities, these loans are rated by rating agencies like Moody's. The rating is done according to the behavior of the borrower. It is called a tranche. For example, if a borrower pays the premium on time and never misses any premium, the probability of such a borrower paying back the loan is higher, so such loans are typically rated higher. These loans are rated as triple A loans. Another type of borrower might miss some of the premium here and there, but at the end he will pay back his loan. He may pay it a little late, but in the end he pays it back, and this type of borrower is slightly riskier than the previous type of borrower. So such loans are rated a little lower. These loans are rated triple B. And the third type of borrower might default on his payments and not be able to pay back his loan. Such loans are rated lower, and they are rated as triple C loans. In the mortgage-backed security, the loans are arranged in layers, which are also known as tranches, and each layer is given ratings such as triple A, triple B, and triple C. If the mortgage-backed security has more triple A type loans, then it is considered a safe bond. However, investors could bet money on each layer or tranche separately. For example, if an investor does not want to take much risk, he would bet his money on the AAA type safest tranche, and the returns on those tranches were very minimal. If the investor bets on the B tranche, which is riskier than the AAA tranche, then they would get a much higher return on their investment. And if an investor wanted to bet their money on the C tranche, then their return on the investment was much higher, as they had the riskiest loans. This was the normal mortgage-backed security bond. To create a CDO, banks use another trick. As investors were investing billions of dollars into these bonds, they mostly used to invest in the safest tranches of the MBS products, which are usually AAA or B tranches. The majority of these C tranches and these mortgage-backed securities would remain unsold. Let's say there are two MBS products, M1 and M2. Each product has AAA, B, and C tranches. Investors now invest in AAA and B tranches of M1, and in M2, they only invest in AAA. So the C tranche from N1 is unsold, and the B and C tranches from M2 are unsold. So banks used to combine these unsold tranches from both MBS bonds into a product known as Collateralized Debt Obligation, or in short, a CDO. In the CDO, the loans from the unsold tranches were arranged in different tranches. These tranches were typically labeled as Senior, Mezzanine, and Equity tranches. The Senior tranche was the least risky and considered the safest. The mezzanine tranche is riskier than the senior tranche, but offers higher potential returns. The equity tranche was the riskiest, and it offered the highest potential returns, but was the first to absorb losses if the underlying assets in this tranche performed poorly. As explained earlier, these CDOs were made up of triple B and triple C unsold tranches from MBS. So the rating of the overall CDO should not be more than triple B. However, the rating agencies gave AAA ratings to such CDOs. As you know, these CDOs were completely filled with tranches investors did not want, 
but the rating agencies still gave them higher ratings. Because of this, the investors thought these CDOs were also safe investments. Similarly, if the lower tranches of these CDOs are not sold, banks would combine the unsold tranches of other CDOs and make a new CDO that was just a CDO of a CDO. There was another type of CDO, which was known as a synthetic CDO. Call them synthetic CDOs. What a synthetic CDO. Synthetic CDOs. That is crazy. These synthetic CDOs were so crazy that even the swap contracts that Michael Burry bought were added to these CDOs. When Michael Burry found out this, he bought more swaps against these CDOs, basically increasing his odds of winning. All these CDOs were managed and created by banks and promoted to investors by CDO managers like Wing Chao. Investors from all over the world, such as German banks, Japanese farmer unions, and insurance companies around the world had invested in these CDOs. These pension funds and insurance companies usually invest in safe investments as they have a pool of money from the common people. So basically, these investors had been lied to by these banks and CDO managers. The mortgage-backed securities were already filled with riskier loans. On top of that, the riskiest of the loans were converted into the CDO and given AAA ratings. All the big investors around the world invested in these CDOs. Because of that, these CDOs were just a nuclear bomb waiting to explode. When people started defaulting on their loans, which were added to the MBS, it triggered a chain reaction that failed the MBS and CDOs, ultimately causing the global recession because investors around the world lost billions of dollars. These CDOs are the primary reason why the 2008 crisis had a global impact, causing a worldwide recession. We hope you understand everything about CDOs. While betting his money, Michael Burry chose only credit default swaps rather than any other method. To know why Michael Burry chose only credit default swaps, you should watch this video.